This is the third part of my complete proxy workflow series. My name is Mark and in this video I'm going to show you how to delete and relink proxies in Premiere Pro. Let's go. Sometimes it might be helpful to be able to delete proxies you already created. For example, if you're working with slow motion footage and changed the interpret footage settings for a clip after you created a proxy for this clip. Or if the proxy just did not render correctly for some reason. To delete a proxy file, first make sure that the proxy toggle button is on. If you don't see it, check out my other videos on this topic linked in the corner above. Then find the clip you want to delete the proxy for in the project panel. Right click, reveal in explorer or on Mac reveal in finder. The explorer will open up and shows you the proxy file on your hard drive. Just hit delete and that's it. Premiere tells you that the proxies are offline. Now you can go ahead and create new proxies. But be careful what you delete. If the toggle proxies button wasn't turned on, the reveal and explorer command will take you to the original media file. Obviously you don't want to delete that, so be cautious. Another common situation is that you copied your project to a new location and maybe changed the folder where your proxies are stored. I just simulated here by moving my proxies to a different location. As you can see, Premiere Pro tells you that the proxies are offline. Luckily, you don't have to recreate all the proxies, but you can relink them. Just select all the clips you want to relink. A good folder structure comes in handy here, as you see in my project. Right click. Proxy, Attach Proxies. In the next window, click Attach and locate the proxies on your hard drive. Click OK and Premiere automatically attaches all the other proxies it can find in that folder or that are in the same folder structure as they were before. And that's how you relink proxies. If you want to know more about proxies in Premiere Pro, check out my playlist on the complete proxy workflow. It's linked up here in the corner. If you found this video helpful, give it a like or consider subscribing for more filmmaking content every second Monday. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. It's linked up here.